I'm with Margate manager Jay Saunders after his side's 2-1 home victory against Enfield. Uh, Jay, it's been a tough week, but you're back in form today and uh, a great win in the end. Yeah, listen, um, I think, think for us we've had back-to-back -back defeats and that's difficult to take. All right, one of them's in the cup, which is always a blow, I think, for the club and supporters. There's always that little dream of having a run and it, was, it hurt us, to be honest. Um, so I thought in response to that, the character we showed today was excellent to go 1-0 down and then dig deep and come back and win the game. He's excellent and um, yeah, I'm delighted with it. Uh, I thought we were good defensively today apart from the goal, the one switch off moment. But I thought in the final third today we weren't quite our, our best. We lost Tomo before the game which was a blow and it was difficult and then Jake come off wasn't 100% and then Bollers come off with a groin problem so it was difficult. So if you look at the team that's gone on and won the game at the end, I think we end up with Ryan Palmer up top. Uh, which I didn't expect him to play, but he's come on and had an effect, and I'm pleased with him. I've just been told the goal was actually Marshall Godo, not uh, not Ryan Palmer, but what a great moment for the youngster there right at the end. Yeah, listen, I'm delighted for him. He's, he's Marshall, to be honest, had a good pre-season, and then he picked up an injury, and it kind of set him back a few weeks, but he's someone that has got bundles of ability. Uh, Dartford have been kind enough to let us have him in, and uh, I'm delighted for him coming on score. Like, oh, at the end of the day, you can say it's a tapping, but you have to be there. And uh, what he's done is that he's, he's over the what far side and he's, he's gambled and got in the middle. Um, I'm really delighted for him and, and hopefully that gives him plenty of confidence. And it's it, it, the, squad's, the squad's not big, so realistically, the players are going to get opportunities and, and young players will. Jay, the defeat in the cup, was he concerned coming into this game there may have been a hangover from such a sort of heavy loss when perhaps no one was expecting that? I think there's always that concern, isn't there? There's, there's no doubt about it. I think the back-to-back -back defeats is more. Uh, Hornchurch game, although we lost the game, I wasn't at, like entirely un, unhappy with the performance. I thought there was plenty of positives. Merston was the other. Right, we had loads of the ball, but we, we've never looked like doing anything going forward. And, and we've let in four poor goals, which, which is unlike us, in all fairness. So, um, unfortunately, probably our two worst performances this year have come in the FA Cup, Tame at home and, and uh, Merston away. But... Look, you've got to dust yourself down and get on with it. And what we've got is a group this year that are a good group. They're an honest group. Um, I said I said beginning of the season, I thought it'd take us about 10 games to really sort of get going and get an understanding. But we probably started better than I expected. So then it puts more pressure on you. But today we've responded. Enfield have, have got a good play. I mean, listen, when, when they're bringing on the likes of Bill Bricknell and Lyle Delaverde and people like that, the, the boy up top foul, you can see he's going to go back in the Football League. Cunnington, you go through their team, it's... To get a response we did after game one nil down was excellent and I'm delighted with it. And exactly that, Jay, many people around the Ishmin League will say if you're anywhere near Enfield at the end of the season you'll be you're gonna be well up there. So how pleased are you right now to be standing here having beaten one of the league contenders for sure? Yeah, look, we set little targets for the boys as, as we go through sort of the months and points targets and that and obviously the first month we we met that and uh Today, I sort of set the targets over the next few games, and, and that's put us, it's, it's gets us on a good start. And we've, but we've got another game Tuesday night, and now we have to go and back it up. Um, two home games, and it'd be lovely to get six points, and the squad will be used. But um, I, no, I'm pleased, I'm pleased. And just finally, it means we remain unbeaten here at Hartstown Park, becoming a bit of a fortress. It hasn't been like this for a long time. Um, but the crowd get behind you, we're winning games at home, it must be a fantastic yeah, thing. It's a great atmosphere at the end, and uh, that's why it's great for the young boys. I wish Marshall had scored it the other end right in front of that crowd, but no, I'm delighted for him. And I, I've, got to give, I've got to give a special mention to George Lamb at right back. Um, I thought he was outstanding today. He's, he's, he's 17 years old. Um, he come in against the team that'll be right up there this season, and he's looked completely unfazed. And uh, I thought he was outstanding. He was putting on merit. I felt that he needed to have a game. He'd done well for me whenever he's played. Um, obviously, he's got connections with the club of his dad many years ago playing with me. But George is a much better player, uh, <laughs> and I'm delighted for him. He's he's coming today, as I say, and been excellent. And um, it's not easy to come into that, but the boys trust him and, and I'm, I'm really delighted for him. And what it does show, it shows that there's that pathway with the club. Obviously, he's been in the youth team here and um, and it shows that there's them opportunities for these young players if they're good enough. And uh, I'm really I'm really delighted for him. And Jay, just finally, uh, obviously, Margate supporter Andy Constable uh, obviously had a terrible accident at work this week. So can we almost dedicate today's win to him? 100%. Um, we spoke about it in the team talk and, and the last thing I said was, look, Whatever happens today, can we get a performance for uh, for Andy? Um, he's someone that I speak to quite a lot. I've got a lot of respect for him. He's always been good to me over the years, and he's a top, top lad. Um, I was devastated when we heard the news, but as a group, I see the boys put out a picture, um, and as a group, it, it's, I'm delighted we managed to get three points, because I'm sure that hopefully 
Um, I know he's in a lot of pain, but hopefully that can put a little smile on his face. And we, hit, and we see him back at Hartstown soon because I know how much he loves it here and he's, he's a face that I'm used to looking over and seeing. So, um, no, it's, like I say, we wish him a speedy recovery and, and hope that anything we can help with, then, uh, then obviously we will. That's brilliant. Thanks for your time. Well done Lovely. today, Cheers, Jay. Ryan. Thank Thanks, you. Mate.